Hey witches, so I originally filmed this video with the Things I Don't Own Witch Edition video, um, but it ended up being very, very long, so I decided to split it into the two parts. So this is the Things That I Only Own One Of video. So uh, this is quite a popular kind of uh, video in the minimalism community, and I thought it would be cool to put a bit of a witchy spin on it, so I hope you enjoy it. In my last video, I mentioned that there were some tools that I didn't own full-size versions of, and I also only own one of them, so I'm going to put them in here too. So I only own one besom or besom or broomstick, um, and it is a mini one, and it usually lives up there. And I only own one cauldron as well, so... Um, and it's a mini cauldron. It's my little teapot cauldron, although I don't brew tea in here because... Keep the vessels that you burn things in separate from the vessels that you drink out of. I only own one wand. I use this for activating crystal grids. I used to use it to direct energy when I was a kid. I keep it because it's very special to me. It was actually a gift from my dad. And yeah, so I keep it for that reason. It was associated with a event in my family's life. So I keep it as a like a memento for that. Something else that I own only one of is a pentacle. So when I was younger, I did feel like I needed to have all of the things, multiple different necklaces, but really I only need one. I very rarely wear it anyway because it's one of those symbols that as soon as you wear it out in public, you start to get interesting looks and all sorts of questions. So if I do wear this, it's usually hidden underneath my shirt anyway, and I'm usually wearing it for protection um but i very rarely use it and one of the reasons i stopped wearing it was um i forget if it was like a quote or something that i read somewhere but it was the idea that your magic should be powerful enough that you don't feel the need to be using a tool every single day and so because of that i started to develop practices which filled the same purpose the idea of protection but that didn't require a tool that i carried with me every day so rather than wearing the pentacle every day i could do a specific practice which would be doing the same kind of thing so there's that having said that there are some times when i will still wear it if i just feel like i need that extra boost of protection but i usually don't wear it um and i definitely don't feel the need to have multiples of them the other thing that I only own one of is a statue. So I know that there are so many people out there that have so many different um, statues. They'll have statues of different deity. I only have one. I received this in a witch's moon box. Um, I really, really love it. It lives on my altar all the time. It very much fits in with my practice. And I love the way that it's very kind of primal and it's not specific to a certain deity that it's very much just that kind of feminine energy that moon energy which is what I work with anyway so there's this um statue which is um like the spiral goddess um it's actually double-sided um yeah and I received this from the witch's moon but I've seen similar ones that you can purchase elsewhere but I only own one statue something that I own that I probably don't need to own but I bought it again because I like working with the moon and I like pretty things um, is my bowling so my bowling is a really beautiful handmade tool I purchased this from a witch in New Zealand so it's um, the handle it's a specific type of wood um, which is native to New Zealand um, it's got the moon and it's actually made out of um, rainbow moonstone chips um, the blade it's a dull blade but obviously it's not only is it the bowling shape it actually reminds me of the crescent moon and because it's silver um, it just has a lot of lunar energy and so I like having this on my altar as a representation of lunar energy I don't use it to cut herbs it's more of a decoration <laughs> so I don't really need it if I'm being honest um, something else that I own only one of is ritual robes. So I'll insert a photo to show you my ritual robes. I don't even need to wear them in ritual. Half the time, if I'm doing a ritual, I'll just be in my pajamas or whatever normal clothes I'm wearing. Occasionally, I'll wear them if I feel like being really extra or there's a special occasion or I, I don't know. And uh, look, they are a really beautiful set of robes. They were created by Dragon's Blood Creations, which is an Adelaide-based um, creator who I've known of for many, many, many years. Yeah, they're really beautiful. They're my favourite colour. And I know that other witches might have more than one of these, or they'll have um, 
different colors and things like that. And I only own the one. I probably don't even need to own this one, but I've got one. <laughs> so I own only one oil burner. Oh, this one's heavy. So I've showed this before in one of my favorites videos. This is a oil burner from Dusk. I use it to um, put my loose mix incense in the top and that's basically the whole purpose I use it for. I don't put oil or anything in there. I put a candle in there and let it do its thing. But I own only one of them. I don't see the point in having lots of different oil burners. I just made sure that when I purchased that one, it was exactly what I wanted, which was that it had the metal dish so that I could easily clean it and it wasn't going to crack and break and anything like that. Speaking of which, because uh, I also bought it from Dusk, I only own one candle snuffer. It's a really basic silver one. Um, it does the job perfectly fine. I've seen really decorative ones. I don't see the point in having them because they're only going to get dirty from being used anyway. So I only own one candle snuffer and it is very basic. On the similar line, a very practical item I own only one of is a incense holder. When I was younger, I used to have all sorts of different pretty incense holders. I used to have the long wooden ones. I'd have ones that had like sequins or something on there, which was so impractical, by the way. You can't wash them. As soon as you wash them, they start to fall apart. What was I thinking? I don't know. So again, when I purchased a new incense holder, I tried to get something very practical, very hard wearing and sturdy. So I just got this one. You stick your incense stick in the top kind of catches some of the ash in the bottom. To be fair, it's not wide enough to catch all the ash. I usually stick it in a plate underneath to help catch the ash around it. But it's very practical. It does the job. Um, also good because it's metal. I can kind of like, if I'm trimming the wick of a candle, I can put it in here and I know that it's not going to damage it because it's metal. So yeah, very practical item. I only own one of it. Um, I've seen heaps of incense holders where there'll be a spot to put like the cone incense. I don't use cone incense, so it's not really an issue for me. Um, yeah, so I only own one incense holder. And one more thing that I'm going to add um, is to do with decorations. Now, I do know lots of witches that have like witch decorations around their house, like stereotypical witches. So I only own one little witch, and this little witch is a was a uh, custom, uh, intuitively created uh, witch. Um, a doll that's made out of wool um, by Spirit Art Design. I'll leave a link down below to them. But this is the only witch decoration I own. I don't own any other witches. Nothing. Nothing else which has a witch's hat on it. This is it. <laughs> and I kind of bought this one on a whim. Do I need it? Absolutely not. Do I love it? Of course I do. <laughs> so let me know what witch things you only own one of or maybe you just really love having multiples of things and you have like three cauldrons in different sizes yeah let me know do you think i am like really limiting my practice by only having one of these things or do you think that um yeah having like more simplified kind of practice is better um let me know if you like this kind of different sort of style of videos and uh thank you so much for watching hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye